The beauty of the cathedral is really totally unmatched here in Altoona. Many people who come into town see it and they think it's a government building, maybe City Hall or a, a courthouse. Monsignor Rob, Robert Mazur, rector of the cathedral, he laughs that off. He says he invited us in fact, is go inside, and it really, if you've never been inside, you need to do it because there's remarkable art, local history. It makes the cathedral truly one of a kind. Bishop John McCourt broke ground for the Cathedral of the Blessed Sacrament in September 1924. He wanted it to be a massive structure, a symbol of Altoona that could be seen far away from the city. This was the Roaring Twenties. Money was plentiful, so extravagance was a given. The limestone used for the exterior was shipped in from Indiana State. Huge steel columns hauled in from Johnstown's Bethlehem Steel Company were used to support the giant dome perched 198 feet into the air. Uh, Bishop McCourt insisted that a cathedral would have a dome. Catholics were excited for their new church home. Then... Right at the, uh, in the middle of construction, the Great Depression struck. The outside was just about finished, but the inside remained bare and less than spectacular for some 30 years. Bishop Carroll arrived and said, we're going to finish the cathedral. That was 1958. Soon after, the immaculate artwork started to arrive. This one was created in Italy, especially for the cathedral. It's called Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament and shows Mary very royal, royal Greek looking, presenting to us her son, Jesus, who we believe is the Christ. And this shows Jesus breaking bread, leaving no doubt that he is risen. So they're rather unique. The, the art is beautiful. Uh, the crucifixes, the um, candle stands, the uh, sunburst over the altar, all commissioned in uh, Belgium, uh, Spain. In the front of the church, the faithful are greeted by a statue of Bishop John Carroll, the first bishop in the United States. He appointed Demetrius Galitzin as a pastor in the Altoona area in the 1790s. A statue of Galitzin stands just across from Bishop Carroll. There is a campaign underway right now to make Galitzin a saint. But ask anybody in this Catholic community, and he already is. And then there's the Steinmeier organ. This is our pearl of great price. There are only two in the Western Hemisphere. This is the only one that's been restored. It was built in Bavaria, Germany, and boasts a whopping 4,759 working pipes. Monsignor Mazur says people travel from all over the world asking for the honor of playing it. Last year it was Scotland and uh, Germany, and they're saying, you know, is this the Cathedral of the Blessed Sacrament in Altoona? And you go, yes. And they, is the Steinmeier organ here? And we go, yes. And could we please, please have their organist? Can we please have the honor of playing? The cathedral is truly a community treasure built by the people. Forefathers and foremothers, our grandmothers and grandfathers, our great-grandmothers and great-grandfathers were very, very generous. And this cathedral is an expression of their Catholic faith. So it's quite beautiful. Now, if you walk outside the cathedral, you might notice that the stonework appears to be a little dirty. And Monsignor says that's because it doesn't uh, weather the winter too well. And, of course, with the winter we had, that just made things worse. There are plans to do what's called a deep clean soon, something that really hasn't happened there since the 1980s.